morning guys. So, hold on. I'm so excited to be back, but I have not seen my garden in over a week. So I'm coming out here. I'm sure there's a lot of things that need to be harvested, things that are probably beyond harvestable because I missed it. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick garden tour update. How are things going? And I need to stake my tomato plants like ASAP. I'm trying to get all this done before the heat of the day so I can still water the garden today. But let's go look around and see what we've got going on. Okay, so here are my potatoes that run down the center. They're still growing strong, looking great. My green beans are now climbing the trellis. I'm super excited to see that. Like some are even at the end, higher than the trellis goes. The few purple shelling peas that actually came up this year are growing strong. I've got quite a few pods on. I don't know that any are ready to harvest, but I'll take a look at that. And let me show you the cucumbers. If you remember, I planted all those cucumbers at the end of my um, faux hugo culture bed and they all came up and I transplanted a lot of them over here. Let me show you how they're doing. Okay, look how awesome these guys are doing. So here's one of the cucumbers. I keep working them. Lots of flowers. Here's another one. They're just getting their climbing tendrils. So I am going to make sure he climbs where he's supposed to. Um, but I have quite a few down here that are climbing really well. I'm not seeing any baby cucumbers just yet, but pretty soon we should have some cucumbers. So I think I have like 13 cucumber plants over here. Okay, at the back of this bed, I planted one, two, and then one right back there. Um, squash plants, yellow squash. Okay, so this is my big sweet potato bed. The sweet potato vines are really starting to take off. Some of them are still small, but all down here is sweet potato vines with some weeds that I need to get out. That creeping Charlie, guys. It's my nemesis in this garden. Um, but so far, the sweet potatoes look like they're going strong. Um, but I'm gonna take you down and show you the cabbage and the broccoli. And this, this is my Ruth Stout bed from last year that we just amended this year. And let's go see how the broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cabbage are doing. Okay, so this cabbage is still small. It's not even started to head yet. I'm not sure if this will um, have enough time for these broccolis. Let me go check them. Yep, no heads yet. I think I'm gonna just be too late in the hot, hot summers here. So I'm probably not going to get any broccoli off of these. Now, my Brussels sprout plants are looking phenomenal. They're growing strong. They get the starts of tiny, tiny little Brussels sprout. No, I mean, a little damage from bugs nibbling on it, but hardly any at all. So super excited about the Brussels sprouts. Okay, this row of broccoli, I have one small head here. Not very big, but no other heads. So again, I'm probably gonna miss out on broccoli this year. Now, I honestly just love my cabbage. This is a weed. I honestly just love my cabbage for how pretty, pretty it is. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. But I have the starts of baby heads and it sure smells like cabbage. Now these back two are definitely getting eaten by something. So I think I'll come out here with some diatomaceous earth and sprinkle that on there and we'll see if we can't nip that in the bud, whatever it is. But, oh, I just love them for how beautiful they make my garden. Okay, so starting here and going all the way down is my tomatoes. And let me just go show you. So as you can see, they really need to be staked up. I have a lot of tomatoes starting on them. And so that's gonna be my job today is to get these 
um, plants staked up. I have a few sunflowers in here too, um, but we're gonna get all of these tomatoes staked up today. Now I'm gonna take you straight down to the new Hugo Culture Mound and we'll see how things are going in there. So this space I'm really excited about because it was all brand new this year. I didn't know how things were gonna grow. I have the starts of a couple pumpkins here. This is three, the three cucumbers that I left. They're growing strong. Tons of zucchinis, if you remember, I had planted a whole bunch of zucchinis in my zucchini, uh, raised one of my raised beds, and they all started. So I just dug them out, plucked them in the, in the root stout bed, and they're taking off super strong. So let's go walk around to show you that. I also just plucked a couple tomato plants in here that I had extra of, and the artichokes. So we have some sunflowers growing in here. Huge zucchini plants. Look at all the little baby zucchinis on it. One of my artichokes. Um, not sure if this is a cucumber. I think this is, yeah, this is a cucumber. There's a little baby, baby, let me get you in there. A baby, baby cucumber right there under that flower. Um, another one of my artichokes with somehow a volunteer tomato growing in it. I have no idea how that happened, <laughs> but <clears throat> another zucchini plant, zucchini plant. Now I think this artichoke is getting shaded out from the zucchinis. Ooh, look at that zucchini. That's exciting. Another zucchini plant. This is another artichoke with another volunteer tomato growing in it. <laughs> so I have no idea where these volunteer tomatoes came from, but I'm gonna get this staked today. Another zucchini, zucchini, baby artichoke, zucchini. Oh, look at that. That's fun, the start of a tiny, tiny artichoke head. Okay, and then over here I have one, two, three, four, five, six of my volunteer or extra tomatoes at the bottom of this little fugiculture mound. While I was right here, I thought I would show you, look how beautifully healthy this basil looks. So gorgeous. And this little tomato, and I have one more right there, were the ones I started winter sowing from seed and they looked strong enough, so I left them. So we'll see how they continue to grow.
Okay, <laughs> I am thoroughly soaked with sweat. Woo! But all of the tomatoes have been staked. I've got 30 tomatoes in this bed. I was able to prune quite a bit from the bottom as I staked them up. Lots of baby tomatoes already going. I did get to snack on one golden cherry that was ready. Um, so tomato harvest should start here really soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys around the raised garden beds and show you what's good, what's done, and what's just started. So, and then I'm gonna go in and get a drink. We're gonna start at the back of the garden. There's all the tomatoes that I just staked. And for reference, here's the Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cabbage. So strawberries, I missed wrapping up my strawberry harvest while I was gone. So you'll see a lot of them are pretty overdone. I'll take a second to go through here and see if there's any left to harvest, but I don't think so. So that goes for this bed and that bed up there. Now, the lettuce in here has bolted, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that for the chickens. I missed out on a lot of the snow pea harvest, so like this one's just like way overdone. I will go through here and harvest all that I can and what's less left to give to the chickens. Okay, so moving on, there's more snow peas on that little trellis. I'll do the same. The corn is looking great, guys. So good. Broccoli has been harvested. It's just little bits coming up, so I'm gonna probably go ahead and cut these out and feed them to the chickens. Now my bush peas are just harvestable, almost some of them, like this one's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the bush pea harvest is all in this bed. So that'll go on for maybe another week or so. I have some cucumbers down here in the root stout. They were just extra from up front in the Hugo culture bed. And so I moved them back here. Nasturtiums. These are Anaheim peppers. Lots and lots of flower buds and baby peppers. Um, a mammoth jalapeno, lots of flowers and lots of baby peppers. Another Anaheim pepper. This is another mammoth jalapeno. Woo, getting ready to harvest. Lots of baby jalapenos in here getting ready to harvest. Another jalapeno and another jalapeno and another nasturtium looking great. In this bed, just puppies, a couple kohlrabi that I don't know if they're gonna do anything and a nasturtium that's not looking so good. Okay, next to the pepper and pea bed, the broccoli rob has gone to seed. I'm just gonna leave it for the bees and the ladybugs are loving it. So the onions are doing great. I did watch in my gardeners, look at that one. Ooh, so excited. In my gardener's video on how to know when to harvest onions and he said when the necks are soft and they're still nice and strong so lots of good onions and a beautiful nasturtium now this lettuce i'm going to taste a piece actually and just see how it is yeah oh very bitter so i'm going to go ahead and pull all that and give it to the chickens um, two, three zucchinis going in here. So I'll probably just give this to the zucchinis. These turnips are just about ready to harvest. I peeked at a couple. Let's see, oh yeah, let's pull one out. Ooh, 
Oh, it, see it's split. But I'm gonna go ahead and harvest what I can of the turnips. The cilantro is long gone, long gone. And up front in this bed, we have a few pumpkins started. Beautiful borage going in this container with a volunteer tomato, a nasturtium, and I think that's it. I forgot to show you guys the borage, and that bed is all borage. For reference now, I just did that onion bed, and this is the start of the sweet potatoes. The last raised garden beds are red onions that are still going strong. The carrots are very, very close to harvesting. I peeked at a couple. I guess if I wanted small carrots, I could go ahead and harvest them now, but I like big ones. Ooh, another gorgeous zucchini down in there. Some more beautiful nasturtiums, more carrots, and more red onions all in here. Kicking butt, doing great. And some more pumpkins at the end of this raised bed. And last but not least, I have pumpkins growing here. So that is it for, oops, hold on. That is it for, what are we, July? Yesterday was July 4th, so July 5th garden update. And for all that worry and concern at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna have a decent garden after all. The only thing I really missed out on was my spinach and my peas. If you missed my garden failure video, I'll link it up here so you guys can go watch it. Talk to you guys later, bye.